Hey, I'm meteorologist Doug Myers with the latest look at your forecast. Once again, it was a very hot day for the third day in a row, and we're going to continue that trend for the remainder of the week. You'll notice that it got a lot hotter out in our western and southern communities due to the uh, lower humidity values, which allowed for the temperatures to get a lot, of hot and a lot hotter than the areas in our eastern communities where it was very, very humid. And you can see heat index values exceeding 120 degrees, even got up to into the uh, 130s at times yesterday afternoon, especially in the Holton and Lawrence area out in our western communities only was a couple degrees above the actual air temperature with how dry the air was comparatively speaking and it stayed hot all the way through 7 p.m. Today we will be uh, once again looking at triple digit temperatures more in the 100 to 105 degree range for most areas obviously there are going to be some exceptions but it may not be quite as uh, hot out in our western and southern communities compared to what it was yesterday and some of our eastern communities may end up being a little bit hotter we do look to uh, break the record today at least if the uh, current forecast holds and we reach that 104 i think we'll uh, have a pretty good chance of getting close to the record tomorrow as well although it's going to depend on how much humidity we have tomorrow so that'll be something to watch out for i do think that the overall trend will be a little bit less humidity by thursday and that will result in a little bit hotter a day 106 but still short of the 110 record and then uh, we do start to usher in some cooler temperatures on friday still remaining hot though before we really start to cool down for the upcoming weekend so as I continue to uh, talk about, the higher the humidity, the cooler the temperature will be, but the higher the heat index value will be. So for this morning, we're still looking at a very, very, very humid air mass, so dew points close to 80 for many spots. And just like yesterday, we do start to usher in some drier air out in our western communities. But it doesn't look to be quite as humid in our eastern communities as it was, it was yesterday. It was closer to 80. Now we're starting to get a little bit more mid to upper 70s. It's an improvement. It's still going to be very hot. It's still going to be very humid. And you can see a little bit drier air out toward the west, especially in the Concordia area with that dew point of 59. How does that uh, translate to heat index values? Well, it could be uh, in the 115, maybe a 120 today, but I don't think we'll be any higher than that if the dew point temperatures come down as they are trending on our computer models. If they don't, we could have a very similar day to what we had yesterday for our Eastern community. So just prepare for that and uh, hope for the best that we will be cooler. We will be cooler for the upcoming weekend with highs closer to uh, seasonal highs for this time of year and the low 90s Saturday and 80s and 90s as we head into uh, early next week as well. A couple of rain chances, unfortunately, they are very low rain chances and they're not a guarantee they will happen. Here's a look at the European. Pretty good chance that we're gonna get some rain through Monday and again, the higher probability this rain will be over the weekend. However, the GFS, not quite to that extent, not quite as widespread, certainly not as heavy, and so don't get your hopes up for now. There is some time, but don't get your hopes up because if it starts trending towards the GFS, and we're not going to get much. And unfortunately, it doesn't look to improve much in the extended outlook as we end the month of August to begin September. Probability of drier than normal conditions do look to continue with above average temperatures. So there's at least a little hope, but it's not a guarantee. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that. In the meantime, please stay safe in the heat. This is dangerous heat, especially if those heat index values continue to exceed 120, especially in our eastern communities as they've had for the past couple of days. It is very, very dangerous. And uh, please take care of yourself. Drink plenty of water. Limit your outdoor activities, uh, especially after about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning for the remainder of the day. And keep your pets in mind as well. Make sure they are hydrated and uh, staying out of the heat as much as possible as well. And especially making sure that they're not uh, walking on concrete. Keep them on the grass where it's cooler because they could get burnt on the very hot pavement that we'll have.